attract a wealthy woman in the 1920s who was in Germany after World War I. And what she noticed was there were a number of blind veterans being guided by German shepherds and that just really captured her attention. In Germany they had trained the dogs to guide these people. So she got the bright idea to bring it back to the United States and that's how the seeing eye came into being. I, I can see some but not enough to really make much of a difference. Uh, so I, I tend to use non-visual techniques for things more than visual. And when I got to college um, and actually uh, worked closely even just here with people with guide dogs and saw uh, the reality of what working with a guide dog was like but also just being on campus navigating around I mean I could navigate around with a cane but a lot of times I found on campus a lot of stuff would just change a lot there'd be construction things would be moved around I lost my sight uh, from diabetic retinopathy and then for the last 33 years um, I started losing sight and then gradually it, it degenerated to the point where I'm legally blind. Uh, there's a lot of guide dog schools in the country, um, sort of all over the place, and they all kind of have their own quirks, different training techniques. The school I went to is called Guide Dogs for the Blind. I applied there and I first submitted just an online application to them and they called me and did sort of a phone interview gauging what kind of just sort of basic information about me and somewhat about like my mobility skills and things like that and also just what what sort of dog I may be interested in. I stayed there for two weeks and worked with him. For sure when like when they give you the dog um, they basically they come to your door everybody goes back to their their dorm room and they come around one by one and bring you your dog and then leave you with your dog just to sit down and get to know your dog, pet your dog, talk to it. But I've always loved dogs, I've always had them and I wanted to get a seeing eye dog, so I applied to the school. Had to wait about eight months before they had an opening for me, and I went up there, and it's like boot camp. You get up at five o'clock in the morning, um, and you they teach you responsibility for the dog, you know, when to feed it, um, how to train with it, um, grooming, everything, uh, the medical care. So the first dog I had was a, um, a golden retriever and I worked with her for about 11 years. And I ended up with this little beauty. Her name is Lainey and she's a yellow lab, but we do excellent. She does very good work. She's great socially, no problems. Uh, but he's just such a, he's such a sweet dog and he's so, um, He's attentive and he's, I always felt so lucky how his personality was always perfect. He had a perfect kind of energy level for whatever situation I'm in. If I'm in, if I was in class or something, he would just lay there and the most he may do is stand up and sit his head in my lap, like, can we please leave? You know, she's such a people person. She was probably the easiest dog to bond with. Normally they give you your dog um, like the second day you're there and you start working with them from that point. And I think it was during that first week, we were having a break and I was taking a nap and the dogs are not allowed on any furniture. And then a little bit later I woke up and she, she was on the bed with her head across my neck. <laughs> and I'm like, hello puppy. And I thought, yeah, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> what I've encountered, just me personally and what I've seen and heard from other people, using a guide dog is, um, you look, it looks much more capable in many cases because you're moving a lot faster and more fluidly um, than with a cane. And even though when you're using a cane, it, you're using it, if you're running into things with it, you're using it how it's supposed to be used. But just the, that picture tends, you tend to get a lot more people asking you if you need help and stuff like that because a guide dog just makes you look a little more competent. I guess where dogs have adapted to working with people and just the way they they crave human attention, they you know want to basically please people. Dogs are almost designed, uh, just over, over however many years they've been working with people, that they've almost engineered dogs to be sort of partners for people. You know, I believe God created everything, and I think He created these creatures for us, you know, for humans. Um, and it's our responsibility to be good to them, to love them.